Hey YouTubers, welcome to another episode of Natural Beauty Thursdays. My name is Tanitha and today I'm going to try something new in my hair. I'm going to do a rinse and I'm still not sure if I'm going to do a clear rinse or black rinse. My hair is naturally jet black and the black rinse might make it even more vibrant. I'm not sure. So I'll decide that once I get to the store. I think I'm going to go to Target. And what I've read, I've been reading up on rinses, and from what I've read, it appears that rinses help to find your curls even more, and also it's a good moisturizer. So I'm going to try it out. If you guys don't already know, I haven't been natural for that long. I've really only been natural for about, let's see, it's July maybe four months so i'm still trying to find styles that work for me and figure out ways to define my curls i have done some natural things you know i'm big on using kitchen products on my skin and hair so i found some things in the kitchen that help define my curls which i'll do in other videos but i want to try this one out and let you guys see how it works go ahead get the rinse uh look for look in the section see what I like and I'll come back put it in and show you how it looks all right see you guys in a little bit hey youtuber hey youtuber hey youtubers It's a clear shine treatment. I'll show you the box in a minute. Uh, as opposed to the black rinse because it was for people that are trying to hide grays. And I wasn't sure how that, what that would do to my hair. So I went ahead with the clear shine. So this is what my hair looks like wet with no product. Okay, so you can see that. I don't know if you can see it. But there are parts that... The curls are really defined. There are parts where the curls aren't really defined, which I think is normal for our type of hair. So, on to the rinse that I bought. I went with Natural Instincts by Clairol called Shine Happy. And I chose it because it was a it was the only brand that didn't have permanent color. I did not want to put permanent color in my hair. So they offered non-permanent color, except it was for people with gray hair that are trying to hide it. And I'm not trying to hide gray hair. I just want to richen up my color. So this one was a clear shine treatment. And it's shinier. It promises to have shinier and brighter hair with every use. And it's up to four weeks of shine. And this box is one application. And I think it was $9 from Target. It's not too bad. And it says it's a unique blend of antioxidants and vitamins C and E. It's a clear shine treatment that recharges your hair with glistening shine. So we'll see if they actually come through on their promises. And I'm going to go ahead and read off the directions. It said to have damp hair, so I just went in the shower and ran water through it. Let's go on to what I'm supposed to do. Step one, wet and towel dry hair until damp. <laughs> My hair is still dripping. And then you want to go ahead and put on the professional colorist gloves that they so nicely have provided for me. Open bottle number one and pour all of it into bottle number two. All right. I feel like a chemist. It's exciting. All right. All of it is poured in there. 
with the finger over the open tip, point away from face and shake well. So I put the cover back on, then put my finger over it and shake it up. I guess it's thick. It's hard to tell. Yep, it's nice and thick. It's like a, uh, it's just like conditioner actually. That consistency it smells pretty. Okay. It says once mix, never reseal or store mixture in a closed container as it can burst. Huh, that's kind of scary. Hopefully it doesn't do that to my hair. Okay, now apply to damp hair immediately. So this Gently apply throughout hair, spreading mixture evenly from root to tip. Do not rub into scalp. It says, don't worry if the mixture on your hair looks colored. The result will be brilliant shine with subtle brightening. If mixture gets onto your skin or household surface, wipe off immediately with a damp towel. I should probably have gotten some clips for this, but oh well. I don't have any pictures to show you how to do this, so I've seen it done on white people before. So there's one part. So that's what I'm going to do after I come out of the dryer. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like right after I get out of the shower. And then I'm going to cornrow it and show you guys what it looks like tomorrow. So, all right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Hey, 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 hey. So I got out of the shower, put in that conditioner. By the way, it says you'll need a nickel size definitely used about a half dollar size so that little conditioner bottle will probably last me only two washes maybe three it says five just so you guys know but that conditioner was awesome it was the bomb it really really moisturized my hair I could feel it so this is what it looks like <laughs> And you guys may not be able to see that big of a difference. I definitely uh, can see a little bit of a difference. We'll see once I style it and how well the curls hold. Uh, yeah. It just feels really soft and, and I didn't even detangle in the shower. And look, I can put my finger through it. That never happened. So... I guess it did something. Oh, these curls are really defined back here. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead, put in some shea butter, and style it. Like I said, I'm probably going to do some cornrows, something really easy and simple. And then take it out, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Hey YouTube, so here's the final result. And it's the exact same hairstyle, a braid out essentially that I did at the very beginning. And it's a little bit more curly. I kind of like it. And so I think I'll try it again later on after four weeks. So I hope this helped. Let me know if you try it. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, y'all.